will begin our discussion on the refugee crisis. You know that 10 million uh, displaced people are in Ukraine, 4 million left the country, and uh, 3.5 reached the European Union. I think we had an extraordinary demonstration of solidarity in all European countries. The Commission mobilized 17 billion euros uh, from cohesion funds and REACT EU to address this situation, but of course the impact is uneven among countries and we have to show uh, solidarity. Second, we will discuss the state of play of sanctions, uh, their implementation, uh, loopholes, what we can do, and if there is a need to strengthen these sanctions, because every day we are struck. We are impressed by these uh, images. We have new images from satellites on what is happening, what was happening in, in Bucha, and we have to uh, uh, react. Of course, we will have also the possibility to uh, speak with uh, Minister Marchenko and to discuss with him further step in support to Ukraine. Uh, then, in a completely different uh, scenario we will discuss on the uh, global minimal taxation and uh, I think this is extremely important. I support all the efforts of the French presidency and I, I hope that an agreement could be reached as soon as possible. Do you have any updates for us, Commissioner, in terms of this fifth package of sanctions? Any developments? No, I think work is going on, but of course it's a, a work on the implementation, on addressing uh, uh, risks of circumvention, but there is also, as you know, a debate on possibility to uh, further strengthen them, uh, but no decision has been taken until now. But as we say, uh, nothing is off the table. And the corporate tax deal, when can we expect an agreement within uh, the French presidency? I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you.